In this video, we're going to drive in and around Hazlitt, Texas, so you can see the top reasons why people are moving here, the pros and the cons. Are you ready? We're going to have a mixture with this one. We're going to drive around, we'll include a map tour, and you'll be able to see why Hazlitt, Texas is one of the best places to live. Now strap on your seatbelt and let's go for a ride. Right now, we're driving north on I-35 West. If you continue driving about 10 minutes north of Hazlitt, you'll see Cabela's, Bucky's, Texas Motor Speedway, and Tanger Outlet Mall. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are navigating their relocation to Dallas or Fort Worth, Texas. People who appreciate us driving around so they can have the experience of living in one of our cities north of Fort Worth. Whether you are thinking about moving in nine days or nine weeks, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We know you're not just buying a house, you're relocating to an entirely new city, and we wanna help you discover which area is the best fit. Hi, I'm Tracy with Tracy Sorrell Homes Group. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn more about what's going down around town, subscribe below, press the bell, and you'll be notified with updates on our DFW suburbs. The city of Hazlitt, Texas has been growing exponentially for years. You're probably not moving to Hazlitt because of their tons and tons of things to do here. People are attracted to this area for the quality of schools and the affordability of homes, both existing and new construction. Whether you want a little elbow room between your home, maybe a half an acre or multiple acres, or perhaps you want a neighborhood with community pools, a smaller fit neighborhood, Hazlitt has it. Our other videos focus more on why Hazlitt is one of the best places to live, but what Hazlitt doesn't have right now, but maybe in the future, is a lot of entertainment, restaurants, and conveniences. For that, you'll pop over to one of our nearby cities. Later in this video, we will take a look on a map to see the proximity of Hazlitt to those areas. We are almost approaching Intermodal Parkway, which is Hazlitt's major hub for warehouse and industry. Hazlitt is one of our more rural cities, but that's the charm of living here. You have the best of both worlds. You can take a short drive to one of our nearby cities to enjoy shopping, lakes, and an assortment of entertainment, and then come home to the peace, the quiet, and the somewhat slower pace of living in Hazlitt. Now we're on Highway 156, crossing over the bridge near downtown Hazlitt. You see more of the warehouse or industrial area to your right. Many people who work here probably work at one of these facilities. Here are a few you may recognize. Amazon, JCPenney, Dickies, Crafts Food, 7-Eleven, BNSF Railway, Cargill, Cotton. How about JB Hunt and Schneider, some transportation places, some trucking places, Aflac, and UPS. Those are just a few. There are many other businesses right here in this area. And right beyond the light, that is Alliance Airport where you would charter your plane, a flight, a jet, and go to your corporate events, corporate meetings, or you can charter them just for your personal use. Now we're on US 287, the west side of Hazlitt, where you'll find Walmart, Supercenter, and other conveniences. Let's take a short break from this drive and look at our maps. Now that you have Hazlitt on your short list, let's talk about your daily living. What are the conveniences? How do I get around my grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants? So let's go over that for you. Area close to where um, Super Walmart is. So it's in this general area and you'll also see other places, conveniences that you might need, maybe, you know, fast food places, but you don't see a lot of restaurants in the city of Hazlitt. Beginning of the video, I was in La Terra Grill and Bar. If you want restaurant choices, then you're gonna just pop over to Lions Town Center, which is in North Fort Worth. And that's where you're gonna get your movie theater, 
your restaurants, your fine dining, as well as casual and shopping, grocery stores, one of those areas will be Alliance. Yes, you do have Walmart Supercenter, which obviously you can get groceries there. I mean, that's like a one-stop shop. But if you want other types of experiences, groceries and shopping, you can pop down to Alliance Town Center and near Alliance Town Center is also Presidio Shopping Center. So that's probably one of your closest areas to get some of those conveniences. Now, gas stations, you're gonna find that in Haslick. You're not gonna be stranded and, and nowhere to go and nothing to do. But I wanted to point out some of the things that you probably want to do that may not be in Haslett. You may not find it extremely convenient, but what is convenient? Five minute drive is about all it's gonna take for you to get to some of these places. And then if you are on the east side of Haslett, you have close to Keller, still North Fort Worth is another Walmart Supercenter. There is, uh, oh, I meant to tell you, there's also uh, a Costco by Alliance and by the Walmart Supercenter that's still in North Fort Worth, you have a um, Sam's Club is right there. Here is a second view of our area in Hazlitt because I also wanted to share with you its proximity to the other cities that we've covered if you're thinking about moving in this area. So first, here is the relationship of Hazlitt to North Fort Worth. And if you recall, North Fort Worth, although it still bears the name of Fort Worth, is still considered a suburb. There's a whole separate video explaining that. But we also have um, Keller, Roanoke, and Roanoke, if you remember one of the videos, that Roanoke is the unique food capital of Texas. Then here we have this Trophy Club. Trophy Club is one of our first planned communities in Texas, and this is where they have acres and acres of golf course greenery and many of the homes are situated on one of the holes of the golf course. Uh, we heard of Westlake. Westlake is one of the wealthiest uh, cities in the area. One of the wealthiest one based on the medium income in Texas. Then we also have Southlake. Southlake is also known for their celebrity and professional athletes, very wealthy area. Then here is Grapevine. And Grapevine is where we have our vineyards, our wineries, and of course, you can see the relationship to the city of Grapevine, to Grapevine Lake, which is one of those lakes, one of the three that we talk about that's in this area that you can go and enjoy. Then we also have Colleyville, and Colleyville, if you remember, that's where you just step over the city limit. It's like an imaginary line where you step over into green and lush. They have the canopy of trees, and they're very particular about protecting the beauty of their city. So those are the other eight cities that surround Hazlitt or near Hazlitt that we want to feature and showcase as options for you when you're thinking about moving into this area. And uh, the, another important thing, I know I shared with you about um, DFW Airport. Let's get Collieville back. But the other airport I want to point out to you is Alliance Airport. So Alliance Airport is one of Ross Perot's um, projects. And this is where you would charter your private jet or you know your plane and uh, take, well, friends or business uh, trips, business acquaintances. You know, it's just where you can go and charter your uh, flight, charter your plane to go wherever you need to go. And they will treat you um, with, obviously, with you have very elite premium services there. So you do have a couple of options with airports in this area. You do have the Alliance if you're looking to charter a flight. And you also have obviously DFW, which most people will be traveling from the DFW International Airport. So hopefully you're able to see a visual of this area and get an idea of what life would be like living in Hazlitt and the proximity it is to the important places and things you need to know. And this is um, this this version will probably drive you bonkers because it's just way too much going on. But for those people who like to see visual things, the one thing I want to point out in this particular map are the other lakes that we discussed. Here's Lake Grapevine. The other one is Eagle Mountain Lake. We talked a little bit about Eagle Mountain Lake, so it extends all the way up there. Beautiful lake, beautiful homes on the lake. 
And then this is Lake Worth. Lake Worth is much smaller, but it's still, you know, one of the three lakes that you can enjoy uh, with Lake Grapevine being the largest. There you are, there, you've got an airport's proximity, our city's proximity, flying in and out of the Metroplex, how close you are with that and how close you are with downtown Fort Worth as well as downtown Dallas. Well, if you're like most people, whenever you're considering a move, you want to know where major things are, the things that are important to you, the things that you need to know where they're located in the proximity of the city. So with this map overview, I wanna point out DFW Airport, our international airport, which is, you're gonna probably fly out of DFW or you may have an occasion to fly out of Love Field. Love Field is in Dallas. DFW is closer to Grapevine, Colleyville, South Lake, but DFW is our international airport and it's gonna be about a, um, 27 minute from DFW Airport to the city of Hazlitt. And the other important thing people want to know is, okay, if I need to go to Dallas, how far of a drive is that? So downtown Dallas is gonna be about a 43 minute, about a 40 minute drive. Of course, it always depends on traffic. And if you are willing to get on our paid roads versus free, because free means slower going. And then the other thing you might be curious to know and need to know is, what is the proximity? How close is Hazlitt to downtown Fort Worth? So downtown Fort Worth is about 22 minutes. So you're about 22 minutes from downtown Fort Worth, about 27 minutes from DFW Airport. And from Dallas, we're looking at about a 43 minute, 45 minute drive. Um, and wherever you plan to go, try to get on the expressway. But if you live in Hazlitt, you won't need to get a onto the expressway to get to DFW Airport. You'll be okay, but just be careful of the time of day. And always check your flights, make sure there's no change with that. But basically gives you an overview of some of the major areas and things that you would want to know when moving into this area. Now we're only seconds from being finished with our Hazlitt, Texas tour. I'm driving on Blue Mound Road, minutes from Shopping Galore, Alliance Town Center, Presidio Shopping Center, movie theaters, you name it. And I know you wanted a little peek at some new construction here in Hazlitt. So I'll pull inside for a closer look. Over to the right is a different community. That's Watercrest. If you have another community you're curious about or you want us to tour, comment below. I hope you've enjoyed this tour and now you know why Hazlitt, Texas is one of the best places to live.